Hi, kids. Welcome to my uh, low-tech studio. Um, all right, so you are having trouble deriving equations, so let, let me help you. Uh, we have a ball is thrown straight up in terms of total time, capital T, NG, which is our constant, derive an equation for the initial velocity, VO, and the height, H. Okay. So, what do you do? Well, guess what? You always know where to start. You draw a picture. So let's draw a picture that shows this. So, all right, so here you are, and you throw a ball straight up, and it comes back down. So remember, we are starting and ending at the same height. We are talking about uh, a symmetrical problem. So I'm gonna label some important points, A, B, and C. So you always start with your picture. So there's my picture. Then you have to decide where you're gonna go on your picture. So uh, if we're talking about, I wanna derive an equation for initial velocity, well, I either need to go from A to B or A to C. And I wanna show you how we can do either, the problem either way. Let's say we decide we're gonna go A to B. So I'm gonna write down, hey, I wanna go from A to B, okay? Then I need to write down stuff that I know. Well, going from A to B, I'm moving up, I'm slowing down, and eventually I'm gonna stop. Well, if I eventually stop, that means my final velocity is going to be zero. I know the only force acting is gravity, so my acceleration is going to, you know, if I draw an FBD, it looks like this. That means my net force points down, it means it's gonna accelerate down. Well, if I decide to call this way positive, then my acceleration is negative G, because it's accelerating down. Um, I know the time from A to B is equal to T divided by two, because the time from A to C was capital T, and then I am looking for VO. So then you do, well, what a, here's my stuff. What equation doesn't have a Y in it? Oh yeah, or displacement in it. And then you'd write down your equation and just plug stuff in and do algebra. So in this case, zero equals VO minus G times T over two. And then you bring that over and you get that as your answer. Isn't that nice? Okay, but again, the key is um, to picture to your steps, okay? I wanna show you if we were to go from A to C, you could also solve the same problem. Well, if I'm going from A to C, this time my time is just T, because that's the total time in the air. A is still negative G and I am looking for my initial, but this time my final, because it's symmetrical, whatever speed I have here is the same that I have, the speed that I have here, except it points the other way. And then, hey look, I got enough stuff, so let's write down my equation. And then you plug stuff in, And then you solve, if I bring this over, negative two VO equals negative GT, VO equals G, oops, this should have been a capital T, I apologize. This is a capital T, G capital T over two, and you get the same thing, okay? So again, do your steps, you can do it, okay? If you were trying to figure out the height, well, if I'm trying to figure out the height, hopefully, this makes sense, I'm going from A to B. So why don't you pause the video and see if you can do it. Okay, pause it, pause it. Did you actually pause it? Okay, now let's try it and see if you can do it. So, hey, I'm going from A to B. So I know my final velocity is zero. I'm looking for this, okay? That's my, that's my goal. Um, a is negative G, and then my time is T over two. So if you look, all right, so this is the stuff that I have. In this case, what equation am I gonna use? I would use this equation. 
vt minus one half at squared. This goes away and you end up with h equals negative one half times negative g times the quantity t over two squared. Now you have to do some algebra. I know it's rough. So if I do this times this, I get one half g. This is t squared over four, one half times one fourth, and you get t squared g t squared over eight. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, do the steps. Bye, kids.